Hi everybody, my name is Elijah and welcome to my YouTube channel, Songwriting for Songwriters. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, each week on a Sunday evening, I set a challenge, an idea, an inspiration, hopefully for you, for your songwriting for the week ahead. Something to consider, something which might be a starting point. Uh, there's 18 challenges. This is the 18th challenge. And uh, many of you are committing to writing a song each week, which is amazing. Some of you are dipping in and out, which is also amazing. I also run an episodic songwriting podcast, which I release on a Sunday morning. Episode five came out this morning with Catherine Williams. She's an amazing songwriter, a funny woman, a really lovely human. She's got great stuff to, uh, to speak about in terms of her songwriting process, how she captures life through art. She's got some really good like life lessons stuff she's learned. It's a really good podcast. She's really inspiring, so please check that out. There's also the podcasts with Ron Sexsmith, Louise Goffin, John Robb, Scott Matthews, and more to come. So um, subscribe to this channel and you'll get the weekly challenges and the podcast as they arrive in this universe. Uh, this week's songwriting challenge is the theme of forgiveness. There are many songs about forgiveness. And it is quite an interesting perspective, I think, to kind of write from because all of us as humans in this kind of life are going to experience, if we haven't already, the idea of forgiving somebody or asking for forgiveness. And both of those experiences are quite different from each other, but there's a lot there in that human condition to kind of to write about, I think. And so that's the perspective uh, I'm sort of putting forward this week to think about. Uh, off the top of my head, there's like, Always On My Mind by Willie Nelson, made famous by Elvis, when the person is recognizing they weren't there enough, but the person was always on their mind. For What It's Worth by Liam Gallagher, a song in which he seems to be singing to his children or ex-partners, just sort of saying sorry, really. Um, All Apologies by Nirvana is another one of those songs. Please Forgive Me by David Gray. Please Forgive Me If I Act A Little Strange For I Know Not What I Do. Um, obviously Borrowing From Jesus there. Forgive Them For They Know Not What They Do. I think that was Jesus, one of his disciples, or, or maybe it was God. Uh, but Jesus was always good with a quote. Uh, so uh, that's the thing. Uh, you know, we the thing is about forgiveness. It's like if you are asking for forgiveness, it's obviously you're living with the hurt and shame and guilt of something you've done. And if you're forgiving somebody, you're living with the pain and mistrust and damage and devastation somebody has caused you. So they're very different viewpoints. Uh, to write from. Uh, you might even consider writing from both points in a song, like using characters. Uh, you might write from the point of view of not forgiving somebody and not wanting to forgive somebody. You might write from the point of view of, for, of forgiving somebody, or you might write from the point of view of asking for forgiveness. Uh, you might look back in your life and think about people that you haven't forgiven or that you would like to ask uh, for forgiveness from. Uh, some of those people might not even be around anymore, but you could use this opportunity to write to them. Um, there's lots of ways you can look at it, I think. You know, we all intentionally impact each other, whether we mean to or not. And there's always an opportunity, I think, to, uh, if you're made aware, to ask for forgiveness or to forgive somebody if they come to you. Um, and so, you know, I, it's kind of an interesting one. Um, so there's many different perspectives, I think, uh, to write from there. And so that's the challenge really. You could almost take it from a journalistic point of view. There's obviously things that happen in the world where damage has happened and you know you might imagine being or you might have experienced some kind of tragedy in that way and that you're looking for forgiveness. There's a great story about a woman who forgave the person who murdered the kid and ended up having them live with them. Uh, you know that's forgiveness of a whole different level. So you know I think it, you might write about forgiving yourself. You know we've all, not all, many of us if you're you know, if you're a human, I guess, if you're a flawed human, you've got to forgive yourself sometimes for what you've done or the way you've treated yourself. So you might think of it from that point of view. Um, and also, I guess the concept of forgiveness is that you, I think, you know, there's that idea that people, you're, you're unlightening the load of somebody who's hurt you, but also it's massively important to um, work out forgiveness to, to get rid of the hurt and pain from you so you can move forward in life. So there's many ways, you, many aspects to this or detail that I think is quite an interesting point to write a song from. So that is this week's challenge, Songs of Forgiveness, and I really look forward to hearing what you have to sing about. Last week's challenge, Songs Inspired by Sleep. Upload, if you've written a song, as always, record it, upload it to your YouTube and copy and paste the link to your song in the comments. There's songs there you can listen to from everybody who's written. 
So um, thank you so much for being part of this channel and I hope you enjoy this week's challenge and the podcast. Please subscribe and share with anybody you think might like this channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.